I want to share with you something that's only been performed once. It's a, a, a suite of music called that a suite of music I wrote called the Tea Kettle Suite. It's uh, seven movements, and uh, I wrote it based on a book I found by chance by a very stodgy old man that couldn't write very well named Sir William Bragg, and it was called The World of Sound. And it's the the worst, some of the worst writing I've ever read. But it was it was about sound, and it was also a brilliant book with the most like run on sentences like you wouldn't believe. So the first. He, he describes all the sounds you hear as you walk around in your life, including making a cup of tea, all the sounds that can happen. So this is about making a cup, a cup of tea, according to Sir William Bragg. And um, this is, I'll just read to you the first part of this. <clears throat> when we come home to our own fireside in the evening, at this time of year, there are pleasant sounds to greet us, as in the singing of the kettle and the sounds of the chimney up which the flames are darting. Mm -hmm. So this is called darting, and this is all about making a cup of tea. Uh, hope you enjoy the ride. I'll, I'll fill you in on how far we're getting with the boiling water as we go along. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
right now in the story, you haven't actually started making the tea yet. You're just thinking about it. <laughs> Sitting next to the fire. Another thing about the story I didn't tell you was, the way I found the book was, I was teaching this nine-year-old how to play the trumpet, and he quit after like three weeks. <laughs> and he said that playing the trumpet hurt his solar plexus. Which I thought was amazing for a nine-year-old to say. And every I, the whole lesson, I've just tried to get him to put the horn to his face and be like, ah, oh, it hurts. It does hurt, but that's but we love it. Anyway, so, but then his mom called me to ask me to babysit him after that. After he quit the trumpet, can you come babysit him? And I was so strapped for cash, I did that. So uh, when I was babysitting him, I would pick him up from school, and that's where I found The World of Sound by Sir William Bragg was in the trash. Uh, the, the school, the school, the elementary school library was throwing away this book. It was so bad. But uh, the next part in the tea kettle suite is called shaking, and this is like before the water boils, everything just starts to shake. <laughs>
That song is called The Kettle. That's the only song that's ever been recorded from this suite, and it was on a record I did a couple years ago uh, called Corral with Billy Hart on drums, uh, Michael Formanek, and Russ Lossing. So that's the only song that ever actually happened, but then I wanted to do the whole thing for you. So now, that song kind of doesn't have anything to do with the story. It's just called The Kettle, so it's, I guess, uh, dedicated to the kettle in the story. But now, the water is boiling, and bubbles are starting to come up. It's not really boiling yet, just when the bubbles start. The song is called Bubbles. Make sounds. Bubble sounds. Alright. <laughs>
cats to you. Jeff Davis on the drums. Woo! Domo Takeishi on the bass. Yeah. And since we had this uh, experience with the weather, and uh, our good buddy Bill Goodwin couldn't make it, Jeff swooped in at the last second, and we had, as Stomu called it, an emergency rehearsal for about a half an hour before this concert. And I have to tell you that Jeff Davis had never seen any of this music before. So how about another hand for Jeff Davis? Oh, wow. Uh, and I also have to say that Stomu had only seen about... 30% of this music. He'd seen some of it, but not, not any of this, so, uh, Stomu Takeishi on the bass. Yeah. So now, just to, just to fill you in where we're going with this, uh, this, this next part is called Sides. Now, here we have Sir William Bragg again. The little bubbles of steam are at first at a pressure strong enough to stand the pressure of the surrounding water, but as they rise to the surface, and come to the colder parts of the water, their temperature falls, and their own pressure along with it. Side. <laughs> really? Uh, you feel the stodginess. <laughs>
we go. <laughs> the next one's called Walls. So actually the whole uh, impetus for writing that all thing from that book was he said that the bubbles started attacking the sides of the pan like tiny hammers. So that was Jeff Davis on the tiny hammers solo, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Alright, now we're at the end. This is when the kettle starts singing, and this is called singing.
water all through has reached the boiling point and the bubbles rise to the very top without collapsing along the way. Thank you very much. That was the whole tea kettle suite. You're the second people to ever hear, ever hear.